Hello everyone, today in this short video, we would be looking at how to connect to a Windows server using Mova XTERM. So we would be using the RDP client, which is built in the Mova XTERM application that we have been using to access or connect to a Windows server. So as you see, I have already logged into my AWS console and uh, i've just started an ec2 instance and uh, the system is initializing as of now i'll just copy the public ip of the ec2 instance and go to mobile extern on the extreme left we have sessions i'll click on that and i would select rdp now rdp is the remote desktop protocol which is used to connect to the windows server remotely in the remote host details i will provide the ip address and in the name section i will provide the username and the port number which i want to connect to by default 3389 is the port number which we use to connect to our machines if you want to change any additional settings uh, like if you would like to connect to an admin console you could select the option over here and that would give you a uh, the admin console i would leave everything as default and click on ok as soon as you click on ok if the server is up and running you'll be prompted for the password field i'll punch in the password and click on ok and this should initiate the rdv session and the session or the graphical user interface should be visible over here now if you realize this is the session or the screen is much smaller you could do a full screen and this would give you the normal rdp look of your entire screen wherein you could utilize the entire screen for that so if you would like to escape from the full screen you would have to go to the extreme top and then say exit full screen and this will take you back to the original session now let's say your session is disconnected for some reason you could always click on reconnect and this should re-enable the windows session if it is frozen or blocked and if you would like to log off from the server you could either do it from the usual method of right clicking on the start option and saying sign out or you could just click on disconnect which would disconnect the server if you disconnect the server the session which is already running with the user is not closed so that means you just close the rdp session but the actual user is still logged in on the server just make sure that you select the option sign out or disconnect appropriately well that's it for this very short video thank you so much for watching keep having a great day